Let's now take the next model from the topic of number systems where we are going to solve questions related to exponents or indices. Now to solve questions related to exponents, we should first of all learn the various rules or laws of exponents. So let us understand the different laws of exponents and then we shall proceed to take some examples. The first one here is a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n. That means whenever the bases are equal, here as you can see a and a, whenever the bases are equal and in multiplication form, the powers can be added. For example, 3 power 2 into 3 power 7 can be taken as 3 power 2 plus 7 which is equal to 3 power 9. Why? Because the bases are equal and they are in multiplication form. So the powers can be directly added. The next one here is a power m divided by a power n equals to a power m minus n. So whenever the bases are equal and in division form, the powers can be subtracted. For example, 8 power 7 divided by 8 power 3 can be taken as 8 power 7 minus 3 which is equal to 8 power 4. So since the bases are equal and in division form, their powers can be subtracted. So we get 8 power 4. The third rule here is a power m whole to the power of n will be equal to a power m into n. For example, 2 power 4 whole squared will be equal to 2 power 4 into 2 which is equal to 2 to the power of 8. So the powers here can be multiplied. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. The fourth rule here is a power m into b power m will be equal to a into b whole power m. So whenever the powers are equal, the bases can be multiplied if they are in multiplication form. For example, 2 power 8 into 3 power 8 can be taken as 2 into 3 that is 6 power 8 as per the given rule. The next point is a power m divided by b power m will be equal to a divided by b whole to the power of m. So like rule number 4, whenever the powers are equal and the bases are in division form, they can be divided and taken whole to the power of the given value. For example, 3 power 7 divided by 4 power 7 can be taken as 3 by 4 whole to the power of 7. Why? Because here the powers are equal and the bases are in division form. So we can take it as 3 by 4 whole to the power of 7. Moving on to the next one, it says a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m. So whenever we have a negative power or negative exponent, it can be taken in the denominator with a positive value. For example, if it is 3 power minus 5, it can be equated as 1 by 3 power 5. So once you take the base in the denominator, the sign of the power changes. The next one is mth root of a can be taken as a power 1 by m. For example, square root of 4 is nothing but 4 power 1 by 2. Why? Because this is second root of 4. So it can be taken as 4 power 1 by 2. Similarly, cube root of 27 can be taken as 27 power 1 by 3. So that is what is given in rule number 7. mth root of a is equal to a power 1 by m. Moving on to the next one, a power p by q will be equal to qth root of a power p. For example, let's say we have 2 to the power of 3 by 2. So this can be taken as second root of 2 cube. That is nothing but qth root of a to the power of p. Now this is equal to second root of 8 or nothing but square root of 8. Why? Because 2 cube is equal to 8. So this can be further simplified as per the requirement. And the last one here is a power 0 is equal to 1. So any base raised to the power of 0 will always be equal to 1. For example, 12 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 or 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So whatever be the base, when the power is 0, the answer will be equal to 1. So these are the various laws of exponents or indices which are required in solving questions from this area. Let us now take an example from model 5 of number systems where we are going to solve a question related to exponents. And to solve this question, we need to use the various laws or rules that we have learned just now. The question here is 2 power 0 0.2 into 64 into 8 power 1.3 into 4 power 0 0.2 is equal to 8 power question mark. And we are supposed to find out what comes in place of the question mark here. To solve this question, as we can see that the base on the right hand side is equal to 8. So all the bases on the left hand side should be made equal to 8 with the help of different rules that we have learned. So let us see how can we convert everything in terms of the base 8 on the left hand side. 
If you observe, this is 2 power 0.2 and the other term here is 4 power 0.2. We know that a power m into b power m is equal to a into b whole power m. Now here, since the powers are equal, 0.2 and 0.2, the basis can be multiplied. So this can be taken as 2 into 4 whole to the power of 0.2. And the remaining part of the question is 64 into 8 power 1.3. So that can be simplified as 2 into 4 is 8 power 0 0.2 into 64 into 8 power 1.3. The next step here is 64 is nothing but 8 squared. 64 is equal to 8 squared. So this can be replaced with 8 squared. So this becomes 8 power 0 0.2 into 8 squared into 8 power 1.3. Now we see that all the bases here are equal to 8. Now we know that a power m into a power m will be equal to a power m plus n. That is whenever the bases are equal and in multiplication form the powers can be added. So here we find that all the bases are equal and they are in multiplication form. So the powers here can be added. So the answer will be 8 power 0 0.2 plus 2 plus 1.3 which is equal to 8 power 0 0.2 plus 2 is 2.2 plus 1.3 is 3.5. So we can say that the value that comes in place of question mark will be equal to 3.5. So this is how with the help of various rules that is a power m into b power m equals to a into b whole power m and a power m into a power n equals to a power m plus n we can solve this question. Similarly the other rules can be required depending on the question given to us. So we should be properly able to use the various rules or laws of indices to solve such questions.